Hey, what's up guys? I'm a retard. Welcome back to another video of Skyrim Special Edition. I literally recorded this scene twice, not once, but twice with no volume. <laughs> and I realised about two minutes in the first time, about 30 seconds in the second time. So I've had to reload a save and do all this again. I finally got it right this time. Anyway, it's the what now, like the fifth episode. And then we're only just joining the Dark Brotherhood. Wow, it took a little bit of time. Anyway, what? Where am I? Who are you? Does it matter? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod, hmm? Wait, you know about that? Half of Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage. Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old Crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight... Mm, problem. A problem? You see, that little Eratino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me, and my associates. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. You want me to murder someone else? Who? Well now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from... Well, that's not really important. The here and now. That's what matters. You see, there's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, oh, which one? Go on. See if you can figure it out. Make your choice. Make your kill. I just want to observe. And admire. Well, I played Skyrim long enough. I know what to say. <laughs> Alright, I'll do it. I'll kill one of them. See, I knew we could resolve this. Yeah, simply. let's get on with it. A debt owed must be repaid. You understand that. Well, get to it then. Pick your guest and send the poor fool to the void. I'll give you the key to this shack and you'll be on your way. The anticipation is killing me. Can you figure out who has the contract? Oh, Which one Christ, there's so much blood in here. Huh. Alright then, so... This is horrible. One of these has a contract. Now, I know you can kill all of them and she'll say something and she'll be very happy. But I'm not sure if I want to kill all of them. I'm just going to kill one of them. Let's see who. Whoever this is, clearly we got off on the wrong foot. This is a Khajiit, uh, isn't it? No worries. This is not the first time I have been bagged and dragged. Who are you? Ah, Varsha, at your service. Obtainer of goods, taker of lives, and defiler of daughters. Have you not heard of me? Perhaps I will have my people carve my name in your corpse as a reminder. Would someone pay to have you killed? Me? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Answer me, or I paint this room with your blood. Fool, don't you get it? I live in the shadow of death every day. A knife in every doorway. A knocked arrow on every rooftop. So if one of wants my enemies would not pay to have me killed, I would take it as a personal insult. Tell you what, you release me and I promise my associates will not hunt you down like an animal and butcher you in the street. It is a win-win. Get these things off of me! Who are you? None of your damn business who I am. If you're going to kill me, just do it already. Esmara is my witness. If I didn't have this hood on right now, I would sit right in your face. Well, I won't take that as an insult. <laughs> I know you're a bit angry. 
Uh, would someone pay to have you killed? Excuse me. What kind of question is that? It's all right. Just tell me what I need to know. I'm a woman living in Skyrim with six children and no husband. I don't have the time or the patience to be nice. Oh, probably should kill some her. people look down on me. Have I made some enemies? You're damn right. I don't have time for this nonsense. I've got a home to keep and children to feed. Now, let me out of here. I, I can hear you talking out there. Please let me go. I've done nothing to you. Who are you? My name is Fulltime. I'm a soldier. Well, mercenary, really. You know, a, a, a cell sword. I've lived in Skyrim all my life. That's all. I'm a nobody, really. So, can't you just let me go? No one would care if a nobody went missing, then. Would you pay to have... Uh, would someone pay to have you killed? What? Oh, God. I don't want to die. Shh. Don't be afraid. You can tell me. <laughs> that sounds very hard, creepy. Okay, well, I guess it's possible. I've been selling my sword arm for years now. It killed a lot of people. Could be someone wanted revenge. But, uh, but you're not going to kill me, right? Uh, uh, what did I do? Uh, please, whatever it is, I'm sorry. Well, he's a mercenary. He's only following orders. Uh, he's got to get his money from somewhere. He's got to provide. Uh, you know, I'm going to go with the Khajiit, because uh, I don't think he really cares about death, to be honest. Now, I know we can kill all three of them, but that's not how I want to do this today. <laughs> I'm not feeling like that today. <laughs> Is this a bit overkill, guys? <laughs> ah, what the heck. Come now, whatever the problem, we can talk about it like civilized folk, hmm? <laughs> guys are free to go. The conniving Khajiit. Cat like that was sure to have enemies. It's no wonder you chose him. So, who is it? Who had the contract? Oh, no, no, no. Don't you understand? Guilt, innocence, right, wrong? Irrelevant. What matters is I ordered you to kill someone, and you obeyed. So what, I'm free to go? Of course. And you've repaid your debt in full. Here's the key to the shack. But why stop here? I say we take our relationship to the next level. Woohoo! I would like to officially extend to you an invitation to join my family. The Dark Brotherhood. In the southwest reaches of Skyrim, in the Pine Forest, you'll find the entrance to our sanctuary. It's just beneath the road, hidden from view. When questioned by the Black Door, Answer with the correct passphrase, Silence, my brother. Then you're in, and your new life begins. I'll see you at home. Remember, the sanctuary is in the southern pine forest, just beneath the road and away from prying eyes. Get these things off of me! Assassin Strongbox. Ooh, she's left me a gift. Ring of the Assassin. Increase the effectiveness, effectiveness of alchemy, archery, illusion, lockpicking, one-handed pickpocket, and sneak by 25%. Hell yeah. I don't know. See you guys in the sanctuary.
She's probably just going to murder them too, isn't she? <laughs> So where were we? Oh wow, we're all the way over here in the abandoned shack. Did she like drug us and like take us all the way here or something? I have no idea. Alright guys, so we are officially, well not quite, we're nearly part of the Dark Brotherhood, we've just got to go there now. Be accepted by the rest. Where is it? I'm sure it's like around here somewhere. Wait, ah, here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Yeah. Started with friends like these. Enter the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Okay. Can't pass trail when there are enemies nearby. Great. There's no enemies nearby. You're joking, right? What the hell's this? Well, kill the bandit leader of this camp. Come on, man. There's no enemies near me. Now there is. <laughs> Can I fast travel now, please? Ah, there's enemies nearby. Wow. Great. There we go. Alright guys, sorry I was just doing something. Alright, so just off the beaten track is the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, so let's see how secret this place really is. So let's arm um, a guard and I'm coming down this path here. <coughs> how obvious is it? It's, I do not want to be caught. Okay, okay, so guard would be coming from down here, or anyone really, down this path, and it's unlikely they'll turn down here, because there's nothing down here apart from water, but if they do turn, turn down here, okay, yeah, it's not actually that obvious, and there it is guys, the entrance to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. 
right underneath the road. Well, we know the answer now, don't we? Ah, the loot! No, drums! You are not <laughs> I'm joking. What is the music of life? I'm guessing this option, silence my brother, is, is never going to be there if you approach this without doing the mission. Because you could just... You could just pick this answer, because you know the rest will be wrong if you do them all. Right, silence, my brother! Oh. No cold door animation. Ah. ah, at last. I hope you found the place all right. So what happens now? Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. This, as hey, you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. I am honored to be part of your new family, Astrid. Our family, my dearest. Our family. Together, united as one, the Dark Brotherhood can accomplish anything. But you must be anxious to get to work. I'm arranging a job, but need a bit more time. For now, go see Nazir. He's got several smaller contracts. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. And the night oh, but one last thing. Hold on, guys. A welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. Another Prezi? Oh, yeah. May it serve you well in all your endeavors. Sorry, I've already got my own armor. Yeah, so the Night Mother was actually what Cicero, the crazy jester, was transporting. Um, that's pretty cool. Who is the Night Mother? The Unholy Matron, the Shrouded Lady, the Mistress of the Void. She goes by many names. Ages past, Sithis gave a woman five children. She killed them to win his favor, thus becoming the Night Mother. If you believe that sort of thing. Today, she's... well, she's a skeleton. An ancient corpse. But more importantly... A corpse that's being brought to this sanctuary by her keeper. Well, her voice went weird then. <laughs> so the Night Mother is being bought here? Yes. A few months ago, I received word from the Night Mother's keeper that he had arrived in Skyrim from Cyrodiil. The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was destroyed, a result of the chaos caused by the war with the Thalmor. That forced a relocation. I don't know where the Keeper has been these past few months, but I recently received another letter. He's bringing the Night Mother here. Soon. Uh, so what if I get caught killing somebody? Try not to. But I do realize it's sometimes not that easy. You may want to make a statement, or a contract may require a public killing. Murder is obviously a very serious crime, and a very high bounty will be put on your head in the hold where the act was committed. You can run, obviously, but you'll still have a price on your head. If a guard attacks, you can attempt to yield by sheathing your weapon. If the guard accepts, you can serve your time in a cell or pay your bounty. We've all gone through it. We do what we must to survive. But there is another option. Some members of the Thieves' Guild in Riften can get their bounties erased for a price. Of course. Something to think about. Yeah, and uh, I'll probably get that free for being the Guildmaster, possibly. 
Uh, so, where do these contracts come from? They used to come from the Night Mother. Potential clients would perform the Black Sacrament, and she would hear their prayers. The Night Mother would communicate this to the listener, who would then dispatch a speaker to arrange the contract with the client. But that was a long time ago. There hasn't been a listener in years. Not since Cyrodiil was overrun in the war with the Thalmor. But people don't know that, so they still perform the ritual. And we eventually hear about it. When someone wants us, we find out. Uh, are there any rules I should be aware of? Used to be the Dark Brotherhood was bound by five tenets. But we stopped following those years ago. You can actually find them all on the wall rules, inside this sanctuary. All that discipline? And look Very where the Dark Brotherhood ended up. We're the last of our kind. And we live the way we see fit. Bottom line? Respect your family. Do that, and everything else will fall into place. So, uh, what can you tell me about yourself? This sanctuary has been my entire life since I was a young woman. That's when I first discovered my, shall we call it, aptitude for elimination. I had an uncle, you see. He made certain unwanted advances. So I killed him, and liked it. Then I killed again, and liked it even more. And so on. I was recruited by the Dark Brotherhood, and have been here ever since. I met my husband, Armbjorn, rose to leadership, and now, here we are. To be honest, I thought she was in charge. Obviously not. Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very eager to meet you. I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract for you yet. Alright guys, so... The Night Mother's Truth. So we finally did it guys. Finally entered the Dark Brotherhood. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.